The global loneliness epidemic, which started in Asia, is growing quickly. Can humanoid robots replace a romantic companion? Why do Japanese people marry holograms? And can artificial intelligence bring us peace of mind? Let's attempt to learn. With a plethora of dating applications, relationships began to go digital. Developers start actively implementing artificial intelligent technology to actively choose the appropriate spouse after gathering a sizable database of people and their interests. That's not all, though. Neural networks have developed the ability to simulate future meetings in virtual reality, modeling the behavior of a potential partner. In addition to learning how to choose locations and offer conduct suggestions, what comes next? It makes sense that in the future, based on the data already in hand, it will be possible to choose, develop, and or equip a customized robot partner with the essential traits. Adult robots may be the first suitable robots to load artificial personalities. In reality, businesses that produce attractive humanoids have always positioned them as a complete partner, capable of cheering up loneliness and offer psychological support. It's better than nothing if they can keep up with a basic discussion, get to know their companion, and recall his interests. The most well-known adult robot, Harmony, even makes an effort to recognize human emotions and communicate their own through facial expressions. In this instance, the robot will appear as you desire, will not be bothered by a headache, and will not make fun of his partner's flaws. People already have societies that prefer robots and see a meaningful relationship in it. In the video, at the tips link, we discuss the most sophisticated robots in this category. People who dislike or are afraid of humanoid robots do exist, nevertheless. What should they be doing? Japan has come up with their own response to this. Hatsu Miku, a holographic pop singer who has toured with Lady Gaga and performs internationally despite not being a real person, is a VR companion. The business started issuing unofficial marriage certificates a few years ago, and by 2017, it had already produced close to 4,000 of them. The virtual girlfriend may keep things simple in conversation and always smile when her boyfriend gets home. She is young, gorgeous, and ethereal, and she can phone you in the midst of the workday to remind you to grab your umbrella before you leave. Some Miko Marian males treat themselves to a huggable character-shaped teddy toy. And that makes sense when you realize how many young Japanese males choose to voluntarily become shut-ins for years at a time due to the pressures of high expectations, lengthy working hours, and ongoing stress. A virtual assistant based on artificial intelligence is being developed by the Japanese startup Cougar to follow the user and move seamlessly between devices. Ludens is able to converse with people by identifying voice, visual cues, and interpreting natural language. It also comprehends human emotions and intents. Despite the fact that the product is marketed as an assistant, it may keep you company and create the impression of a live dialogue. The ultimate goal of Soul Machines is to give its creatures emotional intelligence by producing incredibly realistic artificial individuals. Secretaries and trainers are two roles that virtual assistants can do. But if it works and the business reaches its objective, these special artificially intelligent beings will be able to learn in real time, display emotion, and communicate with others using natural language. In turn, this would make them potentially perfect companions. Much like the film Her, in which the protagonist prefers to connect with a robotic partner after his divorce rather than a natural woman. Samsung Star Labs also develops artificial individuals that can function as friends or partners. In the Neon Project, distinctive, incredibly lifelike, and intelligent computer humans are created. The response times will be a few milliseconds, and they will have their own personality, feelings, and memories. Both businesses and common users will have access to Neons at the same time. All this is almost true. What will consequently happen? Both of the two development possibilities are likely to come to pass. The first involves combining realistic humanoid robots with powerful artificial intelligence capable of mimicking personality, emotions, and natural language communication with humans. These robots can move and exhibit more natural facial expressions than they do currently. The second possibility for development is haptic VR outfits that let you engage with virtual companions, much like real ones. However, this is not the only way that robots can be used as partners. Ibo, Sony's robotic dog, has gained the unconditional devotion of those who have activated it. Due to the shortage of repair services and spare parts when the corporation stopped working on the project in 2004, the robots slowly started to die, which gave rise to the Japanese custom of actually burying robot dogs. Since their owners compared their loss to that of a real pet, 
elderly robotic companions fell under another group. Papiro 1, a small amenable robot on wheels. Paro, a pet robot that purrs and looks you in the eye. And Telenoid R1, a baby robot that seniors project the characteristics of their deceased loved ones into. All of them are intended to combat the epidemic of loneliness. But will they be successful? All these technologies should, on the one hand, be helpful, but won't they have the reverse effect? Wouldn't it be simple for individuals to give their elderly parents a robot instead of going to see them? Wouldn't a virtual companion make maintaining a relationship much simpler and more fun than a real one? The most recent robot dolls have already advanced from their blow-up counterparts. They have all turned into robots with silicone skin that is warm to the touch, just like a human's. They have also been fitted with human responses, making them even more human-like. Soon we will start seeing them more frequently. Mr. Sharkey predicted at the launch of the new report, the ability to customize a robot to your preference includes changing the robot eye colors. Mr. Sharkey predicted at the launch of the new report, the ability to customize a robot to your preferences includes changing the robot's eye color, fingernail type, or color, or even its hair color. All this is possible because to the strength of artificial intelligence, which has been improving with new and incoming robots for years. After the epidemic, e-commerce business devised a method of delivering linked products to those quarantine homes with some free time on their hands. This is true whether they are lonely, isolated, or even yearning for some social interaction. And as health technology continues to gain traction, and there's nothing wrong with having some fun with an X-rated robot, whether soft or hard. After all, we all know that this industry sells. But did you realize that as of 2020, the global market for such toys was worth a stunning $30 billion? The same market is expected to reach a value of around $56 billion by 2027, and the Asia-Pacific region is expected to experience the fastest growth rates in the coming years. Due to the stigma associated with purchasing such a toy in public, most toy sales have actually doubled recently, starting in Colombia and ending in Denmark. Most of these sales have been made online, and more people are now looking for robot dolls and mechanical companions. Others bought these toys as a method to escape the isolation and social stress brought on by the pandemic. In an alarming pre-pandemic report, Dr. Ian Person attempted to persuade everyone that there would be an android overpopulation by the year 2050. Although virtual reality has not been a huge success, we cannot say the same about the robotic industry, which is booming with offerings as it becomes more diverse. All of this is made possible by the internet and virtual reality platforms, even hookup apps, artificial intelligence, and advancements. According to this report, people will have started looking for relationships with these robots. What are some of the cutting edge technologies that are now catching your attention as they provoke ethical debates in the sphere of technology that deals with human contact, loneliness, or even health? One of the robot dolls considered the best in the world is the 20 something Japanese woman, Graminoid which is just an android copy because it seems too natural. But in reality, this hyper-realistic copy is just an AI chatbot trapped inside a Barbie doll that is hampered by artificial intelligence. Intelligent robots are typically equipped with heaters and sensors to react to your touch. Some women are developing these technologies, much like sex toys being developed for male-dominated industries. A good example is Liz Klinger, co-founder and CEO of Lioness, an intelligent vibrational device an app brand that primarily uses artificial intelligence. She even launched an entire research platform where users can participate in some medical and scientific projects. However, thanks to 3D printing, Liz was able to launch the platform quickly. The governments of certain nations, including the UK and Japan, have already charged ministers for singles with resolving these problems. What do you think? Could you be happy with a robot? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.